Let's talk about Gestalt language processing, where 85% of autistic people are Gestalt language processors, and it is an entirely different way of acquiring language than most of the population that are analytic wow. language processors. Also, you don't have to be autistic to be a Gestalt language processor, but our autistic friends tend to need intervention, whereas our neurotypical people kind of, you know, figure it out, play with language, get to independent conversational speech. So it is the process of acquiring language in whole chunks, emotion-based, oftentimes melodic, intonation-rich, long chunks, but they could be short. And it has deeper meaning to them. A gestalt has deeper meaning to them, but might not be apparent to the people around them. So a few examples are... A child's running, 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 falls down, and they say, are you okay? In their mind, I'm hurt means, are you okay? Because they heard that every single time they have oh. fallen and feeling hurt. So the gestalt, the bigger category of feeling, emotion-based feeling hurt, I express that by saying, are you okay? <laughs> Aww. My son, every time he falls and gets a boo-boo, he comes over to me and gives me a kiss. Because That's I used so to sweet. always run you over do. to him yeah. and give him a kiss. That's a perfect so example sweet. of a consult learner.